far are you going? To the DeLorean Motor Company in California. Need a lift? My name is Dan Botkin. I own a star car. It is a replica time machine from the movie Back to the Future. This is DeLorean Motor Company, California. You name it, when it comes to DeLorean, we do it here. I'm the service manager of DeLorean Motor Company. This is kind of like my hobby, my job, my everything, really. I've always been a fan of the car, even before Back to the Future. When I first saw one, I was with my dad. He was buying a Ford Bronco at a Ford dealership, and they also sold DeLoreans. So I was going, this is great, Dad, buy this. Of course he didn't, he bought a Bronco, bummer. <laughs> you know, I found a time in my life about 12 years ago where I could afford one, I'd fix one up and make one nice and kind of gave me the bug. So why did the movie's producers make a time machine out of a DeLorean? Well, at first it wasn't. The original script for Back to the Future included a refrigerator as the time machine, but they were kind of scared that kids would get locked into the refrigerator and they wanted it mobile also. So they decided on the DeLorean the first DeLoreans rolled off the line in 1981. Only about 9,000 cars got made before the company faltered and, and went under. But what we do here now is we just keep them going now. The resurgence of Back to the Future and the popularity just never seems to stop. So what made you decide to build DeLorean time machines? I started working here in 2000. and about 2001 is when Universal brought the original car to us to get it all ready, they were, they were gonna do a part four. So they brought it in here, they wanted it running dependable, it had been sitting on the back lot, rotting away for years. So when I got that in here, got it running for them and everything, I'm looking at all the Back to Future stuff. And I was about halfway through my restoration of my first car. And I thought, you know what? I could build this. They took that car back to Universal. I sat there and just started building parts and building props and putting them on my car and thought, I'm going to have a movie car. How many DeLorean time machines have you made? I'm currently just about to finish up my fifth one, but this one is my fourth car right behind us. I'm really hooked on this one. Well, the original DeLorean had a V6, the engine's all the way in the back, about 130 horsepower. My car right now, it has a GM 4.3 liter, 300 horsepower engine in it. I'm a muscle car guy before I got into DeLorean, so now I have both. When they built the first three cars for the movie, they just went down to a scrap yard and surplus yards and said, okay, let's get three of something and put it on there. It was real easy for them. And to replicate what they did is a lot harder because some of the stuff is old aircraft stuff. The rear vents back there all have to be, you know, laser cut out and welded together and bent right. And most everything has to be made or found. So I hear the speedometer on the movie car wasn't entirely accurate. No, it wasn't. A stock DeLorean speedometer only goes up to 85. And they thought that if they made the speedometers go less, people wouldn't drive as fast. Well, for the shot, the car gets up to 88 to travel through time. So they had to change the speedometer. They had to make a 95-mile-hour speedometer. On yours, you definitely added that. I did. I wanted it, you know, as accurate as possible. How much does it cost to make the car? I've never added up the receipts for mine, so I don't know on that one. But we are building them now here at DeLorean Motor Company. Nice DeLoreans are about 30 to 40,000, and you bring your DeLorean into us, we will build you a complete replica time machine for about 45,000. So how much for hover conversion? Because that's what I really want. Well, that's not going to be available for 2015. And they go for $39.99.95. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll get ready. <laughs> Are there any major events that your cars have appeared in? Have you met any celebrities? One of the big events that I liked was uh, the closing of the Back to the Future ride, which was kind of sad that they closed it. Yeah. Uh, but they used my car to drive the original Doc Brown up to the clock tower. And it was neat to meet Christopher Lloyd. Do you have any props that go along with your time machine? When I do shows, I do have some props I take with me. I have the sports almanac that I'll put on the dash. The main thing, the flux capacitor, you can buy here. They're about 350 bucks. You can just turn it on with a nine volt battery, which is neat. So what do your friends and family think about you making the time machine? I had one friend individually, when he saw I did a Back to Future car, I thought I was crazy. So I actually went and picked him up one Saturday. We parked right on Huntington Beach and literally closed the street. There were so many people piled around the car, asking questions, wanting to sit in it, and he was just loving it. He didn't want to leave. Changed his mind in a day. You almost feel like a movie star driving it, you know, because you know people are looking inside. Is Michael J. Fox in there? Is Doc <laughs> Brown in there? You know, no, it's just me. But it's hard to go to the grocery store without coming out in a pile of people around your car and having to talk for a half an hour, which is fun. I, I love seeing the smiles and, you, you know, you feel special when you drive it. So how about a ride, mister? Let's go. <laughs> Athena! You've got
got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Go ahead, quick, get in the car. Wait a minute, Doc. What happens to me in the future? Do I become an asshole or something? Yes, you become a giant asshole, and it's not pretty. Oh, well, we better fix that. Hey, Doc, you better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. A flying DeLorean? I gotta work on that one next. Excuse me, I need my Egg McMuffin. Hello? Hello?